Everybody claims to be on the haqq. Even the partisan groups. Every group rejoicing with what it has. But who is upon the haqq? The one that Allah and His Messenger have already explained. They are the ones when all the other groups split up into 72 sets. That group which has always been following the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. As the Messenger وسلم, said of them, لا تزال طائفة من أمتي على الحق ظاهرين. They will not cease to be a group from my ummah clearly upon the truth. لا يضرهم من خذلهم ولا من خالفهم حتى يأتي أمر الله وهم على ذلك. They will not be harmed by those who they try to deceive them. Nor will they be harmed by those who oppose them until the command of Allah comes and they are upon that. Look how the Messenger وسلم, began with the deceivers. They are trying to deceive the people of Haqq. And then he said the opposers. Why? Because the deceivers are worse, are more harmful to you and me than the opposers. See the opposer, he's clear. He's clearly an opposer. But the deceiver will say, he will say, I'm Ahlul Sunnah al-Jama'ah. But he's not Ahlul Sunnah al-Jama'ah. He will say, look, uh, my scholars, Shaykh Abdul Aziz bin Baz, rahimahullah, Shaykh Mu'thaymeen, rahimahullah, he will mention some of the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah this century, but he's not on their methodology. He can even claim that he sat in their lessons. But as Shaykh Albani, rahimahullah, said, the talib al-ilm, the one who is the student of the alim, should hold his methodology. So if he doesn't hold his methodology, he's not his student. So, kullun yadda'i waslan bi layla, wa layla la taqirhum bi dhalik. So everybody claims that Layla is theirs. But Layla says, I don't belong to any of them. As the Arabs say. A nice line of poetry which they say. Everybody claims Layla is theirs. A beautiful lady. But Layla says, I don't belong to any of you. Subhanallah. So everybody claims to have the haqq. But those who have the haqq are the ones that follow sincerely upon ittiba' the Qur'an and the Sunnah and the understanding of the companions, following tightly the ulama and what they are upon from the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.